What's going on, guys? Uh, it's Way from a Revolution here with Toffee, the Border Collie, who is our latest sales associate here at the Revolution Watch Bar. Uh, Toffee and I will begin with our traditional um, international greeting. Uh, bonjour, ciao ragazzi, hola amigos, uh, ni hao, shalom, assalamu alaikum habibis. Um, oh, and then Anish told me that I didn't say namaste last time, so namaste. And, and for those of you of the canine variety, uh, Toffee, what's, what would your greeting be? Woof. So uh, guys, today I'm here to do an unboxing of a really cool watch, something that in fact has just launched, and it is the new Zenith Chrono Master Sport. So without further ado, let's take a look at this bad boy. You want a treat? Okay, I'll give you a treat in a bit. Okay, so there we go. And there we go. So I like to talk about this watch from the perspective of it being kind of like a greatest hit list of some of the best periods of iconic Zenith design. So of course you have uh, the three color counters um, that comes from the A386, the very first El Primero watch from 1969. Uh, but then you've got a really cool uh, black bezel. In this case, it's ceramic, but uh, the black bezel watches such as the A277, the pre-El Primero chronograph, and also um, the rainbow, El Primero rainbow, which also had a black bezel. And then it's got a polished and brushed bracelet, which is reminiscent of a watch called the Zenith DeLuca, right? Which I kind of, I like that name. It's the DeLuca. It's got like then you know, this a little bit of a disco kind of flavor to it. So the thing to know, guys, is that this watch comes in a black dial and a white dial. The white dial is probably, from a visibility perspective, a little bit better because you can see the kind of speeding chronograph a second's hand much better. But I like the black dial. I just like black dial watches. Maybe it's because my sole is the same color. Uh, but the cool thing about this watch is when you put it on your wrist, it's just very beautifully resolved and very well executed. It's got uh, a 41 mm case. It's got really nice sort of beveled uh, lugs. It's got these kind of retro modern um, pump pushers on them. And you, you know, put this watch on and you're like, you know, this is everything that I would like from a chronograph. Um, but it looks like pretty much just a regular chronograph with the date, with three counters, one for the minutes, uh, one for two, one for, for the seconds, one for continuous seconds, and one for 60 seconds, which I'll explain in a little bit. But really what's interesting about this watch is when you press the start stop button or the start button on the chronograph, and you let the watch loose into what I call lightning mode. And when I mean lightning mode, is basically the chronograph seconds hand is completing a full revolution of the dial once every 10 seconds, right? And on the bezel, the ceramic bezel, you've got actually 100 marks to show you 100 different positions that the chronograph seconds hand will adopt. So you've got um, calculations for 10 seconds, and each second is then divided into a tenth. So 100 markers in total. And that's what it means in terms of uh, this being a one-tenth of a second chronograph. It really is a one-tenth of, of a second chronograph and that you can really calculate that measurement with real ease. Now, of course, uh, for those of you guys who remember about nine, ten years ago, uh, Zenith actually had released a watch called the Striking One-Tenth, and it had a similar complication. Um, but this time around, the complication is configured a little bit differently. So in the original watch, what you basically had was a silicon uh, drive wheel with 100 teeth that was powering the chronograph wheel. Here it's a little bit different in that the entire chronograph mechanism uh, for the uh, seconds is being driven off of the escapement wheel. So you have an escapement wheel, then you've got a pinion on top of that, and on top of that is uh, like a, a little drive wheel, and that's driving a, a large intermediate wheel that has 100 teeth. So that has 100 teeth, the chronograph seconds wheel has 100 teeth, and there's a second intermediate wheel that kind of um, transmits the power from that 100 tooth wheel to the chrono central chronograph wheel. Um, they found that that's a much more stable way of doing it, and the result is a watch that when you look at the, the, the seconds hand just kind of stampeding around the dial, it's just so cool to look at. And then when you stop it, you'll see that that chronograph hand aligns perfectly with the one-tenth of a second mark. So the question is, of course, how do you use it like a normal chronograph? Because if the central seconds hand is completing a full revolution of the dial once every 10 seconds, um, how do you calculate 60 seconds? Well, actually, the subdial at 3 o'clock is your 60-second um, lapse chronograph seconds counter. And that is perfectly synchronized with the central chronograph hand so that every time the central chronograph hand completes a full revolution, that counter uh, moves forward by another 10 seconds. So obviously six times and you complete a full 60 seconds. And then the subdial at uh, six o'clock uh, completes a full revolution once every 60 minutes. So that's your elapsed minute counter for the chronograph. You like that, Toffee? 
And then uh, at nine o'clock, you've got your continuous seconds uh, as well. So what's really cool about is that all three of these counters are calibrated to 60. 60 seconds for the chronograph, 60 minutes for the elapsed minutes for the chronograph, and then 60 seconds for the continuous seconds. Um, and that to me is what's so special about this watch. I kind of like the idea of you being kind of like sat next to some other guy that's probably got a more entrenched and kind of well-known uh, chronograph. And he's looking at your watch and he's like, well, you know, what's so special about that? And then you activate that. And I kind of feel like this watch almost needs to have a theme song every time you turn the chronograph on. It should be either like ACDC Slenderstruck or uh, Judas Priest Lightning Strike to me because that hand is just so dramatic. And it's not a Foudroyant. So a Foudroyant is, for example, uh, like the El Primero 21, which is a, uh, a chronograph that uh, has a hand that adopts multiple positions every second. So in the case of that watch, it adopts 100 positions every second, which is insane, and has an oscillator dedicated to this. But it's kind of like, to me, almost like a food drawing because it's got this incredible precision to it. Uh, and looking at it, it's almost mesmerizing. You just see it just racing around the dial, and I think it's just such a dope watch. And what's really cool also is that the watch comes on both a bracelet and on a strap, but regardless of which option you choose, it's actually really well priced. So the watch on a steel bracelet is 9,900 Swiss francs. I just want you guys to know that like 10 years ago when they launched the Striking 110th, that was actually the price of the Striking 110th. So 10 years later, and you know what the, the price is increase in watches generally has been, uh, I think it's remarkable that it actually is a very strong value proposition. Also now with a ceramic um, bezel, also now with a, a full steel bracelet. Uh, so, and, and with obviously a movement that's being completely redesigned uh, with uh, the seconds of the chronograph being driven by the escape wheel. It's a, a really great value proposition. So, um, you know, big uh, respect to Zenith for doing that. Toffee, you agree? Toffee agrees. All right. Um, so, Toffee, I'm going to ask you what you think of this watch. Do you like it? I think she likes it. I'm going to give her a treat because, you know, she likes Zenith, so she's a good girl. Yeah, it was good. So guys, if you haven't uh, uh, had the opportunity to check this watch out because it's just dropped, go head down to your local Zenith boutique, put on your wrist, activate lightning mode, and you will see some real horological magic there. I hope you guys have enjoyed this. Uh, thank you from me. Thank you from Toffee, the Border Collie, the, the latest member of the Revolution Watch Bar team. Peace out, dudes. Have a great weekend. Thank you. Thank you.